Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Diana if you are new here and if you're not new, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about goal setting, setting positive intentions for 2021 and how you can set incredible goals for yourself to have an incredible, incredible year. For 2021, I really wanted to put an emphasis on self-care and doing things that make me feel good and will inevitably make me a better person and put me in alignment with who I'm meant to become. And with that being said, I'm going to be focusing a lot on things that I consume, how I spend my free time, what I put into my body, and just all of the things that we kind of bypass on a regular basis. I'm really hoping that this video will inspire you and motivate you to set some of your own positive intentions and goals this year, so let's jump in. My first goal is actually to read 50 books. There are 52 weeks in a year, so I figured that 50 is a very doable number. I actually jotted down all of the books that I currently have and all of the books that I wanna read, and I came up with the number 98, so, We'll see how that goes, but I'm going to aim for 50 books. I ended up taking a look at my library and I jotted down all of the books that I currently have, all of the books that I'm wanting to read. I made three separate sections, one for nonfiction, one for fiction, and actually a separate category for books on writing, just because I really want to better my writing skills this year. So in total, there are 98 books. I will definitely try to read 50 at the very least. But yeah, this is definitely one of my goals because I really want to control how I spend my free time and instead of always turning to the TV or turning to TikTok or turning to Instagram or any other social media outlet, I would much rather spend my time reading, which is why 50 books, here we go. All right, my second goal is to write and journal every single day, no questions asked. Journaling is something that I have done for probably years, but I don't do it consistently and I've noticed that when I do Put it on my to-do list actually and I jot down everything that I'm feeling It makes me feel so freaking good and it just releases all of the negative thoughts in my head It puts me in alignment with the day. It just makes me feel extremely positive about everything So I want to journal every single morning. I bought a new journal specifically for this reason and that will be how I spend my mornings right. and the second part of this is that I want to write daily Writing is my job, this is how I make my money, so I actually really, really have to dedicate a lot of time into this, and there are days where I just won't write a single word. Um, and I'm not even talking about just journaling, I'm talking about actually writing and pitching publications and magazines and things like that. I really wanna make sure that I'm on top of my game this year, and I wanna dedicate at the very minimum 5K words a day for writing and pitching magazines just because I feel like I really actually slacked off on writing a lot this year. There were days where I would publish two, three articles daily and then there were days where I barely touched my keyboard and I really don't want to do that anymore. I want to be really consistent with my writing and I want to get better at it. You guys already know, if you want to get good at something, the only way to do that is by doing it daily and investing a lot of time into it. So writing and journaling daily check all right another goal of mine is actually all about self-care i really want to start taking better care of my skin and making sure that i'm doing everything that i possibly can to prevent aging wrinkles acne healing all of my acne scars and things like that i feel like sometimes I take my skin for granted and I'm just like, it's going to be fine the next day and I'll skip on my skincare routine or something like that and I really don't wanna do that anymore. I have so many great products that I'll use and then I just won't use and it's just not consistent. So I really wanna learn about how to better take care of my skin and then I actually wanna start using the products that I have. I mean, honestly, tell me, do you do your skincare routine every single day, morning and night? Because I can, admit shamefully that I only do my skincare routine in the mornings and then at nighttime I will typically wipe my face put on some moisturizer and just go to bed no skincare night routine and I really want to change that <laughs> skincare is everything I mean your skin is so so important and there's so many aspects to taking care of it so I really want to dedicate some time to learning more about it all right another goal that I actually have is to 
hone in on my skills just in general one of them is actually learning Italian I <laughs> started learning Italian at the very beginning of quarantine and it was going great. I was dedicating 30 minutes daily for I would say like a good two months and then I stopped and I have no idea why but I really want to pick it up again. Another thing that I actually really want to add into my life is doing daily crossword puzzles. I got this for Mihai for Christmas and we've been doing them daily. They're great and it's a great way to challenge your brain. One more thing that I actually really want to work on is my YouTube channel. I really want to grow it. I want to understand YouTube better and understand the algorithm better, which is why I purchased this course um, by Sean McConnell. It's all about um, how to rank and search and just the algorithm and things like that. And YouTube is really important to me and I really want to grow my channel and make amazing quality content. So I figured why not brush up on my YouTube skills by buying a course. Next, I actually have a food related goal. I love to cook a lot. Cooking is one of my biggest passions and I love eating. Actually, I think that is my biggest passion on earth. I have all of these incredible cookbooks that I have not been using. I've been literally sticking to making basic food like salmon, rice, chicken, mashed potatoes, something like that. And I have all of these incredible recipe books that I have not been using and I just want to really dive into that. I want to try other cultures foods and I really want to challenge myself this year and learn about other cultures and how they eat and things like that and I love love absolutely love trying new food so I figured I should start putting all of these amazing cookbooks to use and start making some recipes I think this is actually a great way to bond with your significant other or your roommates if you have them whoever's in your house this would be such a fun way to just connect and hang out. Um, anytime me and Mihai cook together, we open up a bottle of wine and we just go to town, whipping up a storm and cooking some incredible food. So this is definitely, definitely one of my goals for 2021. Cook more homey food and cut back on the DoorDash. Last but not least, I really want to work on my spirituality this year. I feel like I have put my beliefs and church and listening to sermons and reading my bible on the back burner for so long and as i mentioned 2021 is going to be the year of bettering myself and doing the things that make me feel really good and then if i'm not going to be reading my bible then i'm going to be listening to a good sermon by elevation church or even joyce meyer i love joyce meyer she always puts me in the right headspace about everything and she always makes me feel really really challenged and she, I don't know even though I've never met her I feel like she holds me accountable to a lot of stuff so those are my goals and intentions for 2021 I hope this video inspires you and motivates you to create a few of your own goals 2020 was rough but there's nobody stopping us from having a great 2021 so set your goals share them in the comments down below Subscribe for more content and I will see you in the next video. Bye